Lewis used to sit on the floor and watch me when I was playing, writing songs and so forth, and just sit quietly in the room. And so when we got in a session, he knew exactly what to do. But his intuition is unbelievable. He's on Thriller, everything. I know Corita, the dude, all that stuff. Right. And everything until we backed off a little bit, you know, uh, from the studio. Um, and I have to mention my brother uh, Ndugu, N-D-U-G-U. Uh, it's a man who played on the, on the Thriller album. He's uh, uh, in the booth, in the booth with Michael, and he's sitting on a stand with his drum set, doing the drums, taking the electronic drums off and putting real drums on Billy Jean. Uh-huh. It's 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 classic, you know. So well, now to explain that what he did. Ndugu, he's the drummer on that. Yeah. Yeah. But what did he just replace the electronic drums? Well, no, we had electronic sound on there, but it wasn't even close to what you can do with the real stuff. Man, you can tell the difference, you know. In fact, I always used to love the process of going through the the uh, you know a drum set and then go to real drums and use uh, there was a, a string ensemble they had. That represented that, that imitated violins, and go from that at first because the ear likes to make that journey, ear candy, whatever you want to call it, and go straight from there. It's a direct segue into live strings, muted, exact same colors, but come like a metamorphosizing right into the real string sound. So it doesn't sound like we're doing it just to save money, but it's a sonic ride. It's a sonic joy, you know. Right. Anyway, we used to do that kind of stuff all the time.